Hey, y'all, Grand Rising. Oh, well, damn. We have here that you are highly thought of. Okay. We got the shark here. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Oh, so that's why they're thinking about you. Hmm. Problems to be resolved. So you good. All right. But you need to take care, it says here, or, you, or there will be a loss of material wealth. So this shark is, is highly thinking of you. All right. It could be a female. Does it have to be, though? It says here, plenty of material things. Yeah, so this is somebody who could be plotting on you. Uh, you know, somebody that's close to you. And they're thinking about you and your material things. It says here, unsettled times need to plan ahead. So this could be a parent with this kangaroo. See how it's like, it's like with the mom and the kid. Or a, a, uh, like a mother, mother figure. An aunt. Um, somebody older. Um, but... It says here, unsettled times need to plan ahead. They could be going through unsettled times right now. And that's why they're over here thinking about you. They could be gossiping about you as well. You know, uh, it, it kept coming out in the readings um, that this person was like slandering your name. You know, so it could be that too. We have use your intuition to, to make beneficial changes. All right. So let's keep going. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So, again, use your intuition and take care, okay? So, Spirit is telling you right now, like, you need to take you need to take care. You need to be um, cautioned right now because this person is plotting. We got great personal sorrow. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, this person is on some bullshit. All right, we have ants, work, achievement, and success. So, you know, you busy, you working, you know, you doing what you got to do. Uh, but there's somebody in your energy right now who is thinking about you and your finances and they plotting on you. An exciting event, doing something risky, taking a chance. Yo, this is wild. <laughs> oh, my God. So somebody going to try to do something risky, maybe at an exciting event. So that they could get uh, good luck. Okay. So somebody's going to try to do some probably some voodoo or some shit. All right. It says here, a distant friend is thinking about you. So some of y'all, you see how there's like a theme here? Like thinking about you, highly thought of. And then we have here um, a distant friend. So maybe it's a friend for some of y'all. Somebody who's distant. Somebody who could be a karmic friend. They're not your friend no more. Again, they're plotting on your good luck and your fortune. See what I'm saying? It says here, danger, especially in money matters. Yo, there's a lot of confirmation right now. Like, they plotting on your money. I don't even know what else to tell you. All right? Because this person, they are dissatisfied with life. All right? So, it's giving me, like, a crab in a bucket, you know? Like, this person wants to bring you down with them. And they are attacking your finances, your material wealth, your blessings. So, let's clarify this. Let's see exactly what is going on. Let's see. Spirit, are they doing black magic? Like, what is it that they're doing? What is it that they're doing exactly? Yup, yo. You see what I'm saying? You got this uh, success, independence, stability. All right? You're, you have prosperity, abundance. You are reaping the rewards through your hard work. All right, investments. Um, we got here this uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse. So definitely a liar, a manipulative person. So again, it could be a mother figure. It could be a mother, a baby mother. Okay. But uh, with this uh, judgment card, it says here apportioning a blame. Like they could be trying to blame you for something and trying to take action. All right. With this uh, Queen of Wands. You are right now standing in your power, you know? Let's see what else. What's going on with this? You know, you could be a businesswoman. You could be uh, some, or a business, you know, businessman, whatever. You know, take a high resonance. But I just see that you're on top of your game here. You're independent. And you got it going on right now, okay? And this person is plotting on you because they want what you have. Okay, it says here, last one standing, stubborn, rigid. Yeah, this energy, they're going to have to learn the hard way. All right, uh, failure, okay, hostility as well. 
they definitely gonna have to learn the hard way. We got here feeling trapped, um, confined. Okay, even says here just having to let go. Yeah, freeing them, freeing yourself because they're gonna have to let go. You know, they're gonna have to stop thinking about you. This is also thinking about you. Maybe they're trying to project shit, you know, in your mind, doing some type of mental manipulation, magic or some shit. And they're going to have to just let go. Let, let this shit go. They're going to have to free you, you know. You're already free, but they're going to have to stop thinking about you is what I keep getting with this. And they're going to be stressed out, all right? Because I feel like it's not just thinking about you. They're doing some weird shit, all right? Some type of mental, mental shit, all right? Yeah, this person, they're going to have to, they're going to lose, this is them attacking you, trying to trying to cause conflict in your life. It says here fighting, arguments, whatever, right? Chaos. They're going to have to let go. All right, let's see what else. This is somebody who's a narcissist. Narcissistic, abuse of power. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, they're going to be going through a lot of problems. Yeah, look at this. All these investments, whatever investments that they did, thinking that they, it was going to help them get out of this uh, financial situation. Yeah, they thought they was going to get money out of this. Okay, for some of y'all, it's a, it's a male. Okay, and they thought they was going to get your blessings. They thought, but instead, it was a bad investment. And they're just getting bad luck, upheavals. Okay, disappointment. Lack of success, bad investment. They should have never tried playing with you and your energy. All right, let's see. We got here, be careful, do not take risks. That's what they need to not do. They need to not take no fucking risk. Because it says here that they're going to try to take a risk to try to do this voodoo thing. Try to take your energy and, and manifest blessings. Manifest, manifest your blessings. You know, like they take our energy and they want to like... Like, everything that's for you, like a destiny swap. This is what they think that they could do. You cannot do this with a divine being who's protected. They want to do, like, a destiny swap. Take your blessings. Uh, sometimes they take our energy. They siphon our energy. And they manifest material things, material wealth with people's energy. Like, I know that sounds crazy. I still, you know, cannot believe that shit either. But that shit is real. All right? So, that's what these people are trying to do here. And I feel like they could be definitely doing some type of mental uh magic okay trying to get in your head so that you could feel some type of way maybe feel down about yourself because if they keep you in a low vibration they'll be able to do this they'll be able to manipulate you with their little black magic and also with this queen of swords in the reverse it's also giving me that this person could be like uh chanting shit over your name they be doing all this weird shit they be chanting you know bad things trying to curse your life you know so that's what i'm getting with that as well this is somebody that they thinking about you because they they plotting on you all right and they doing this little voodoo shit and it's not gonna fucking work all right let's see what else you are being tested this is a spiritual test and we have you have to let go to grow so for some of y'all yeah, look, whatever you lose, God will replace and multiply. This this is somebody that, it could be a baby mama or karmic energy that somebody is, like, needing to let go of, needing to release this energy because this is like a gold digger, you know, doing voodoo on your finances, all right? And gold diggers could be dudes too, all right? And they are some weird shit trying to take your energy. Um, and Spirit is saying you are in alignment, okay? So now that you are in alignment, you need to let this shit go because this is going to hold you back. Look what they're doing already behind your back. All right. Whatever you lose, God will replace and multiply. God will put, you know, your true divine counterpart, financial blessings, abundance. You know, like you're not losing nothing. Yeah, look, confirmation. Your trials will be turned into triumphs. A financial increase is on the horizon. Absolutely. That's what's going on here. You got to let this shit go so that you could get these blessings. All right, because this person is actually plotting behind your back. All right, we have practice. So maybe you have to practice. Oh, listen quietly. You need to practice uh, meditation, being by the water, okay? Um, listening, you know, to your, your intuition. Because we got the card that says something about intuition. And um, you know what you need to do. I'm just here to give you confirmation. All right. You know, that you got to let this person go. Yeah. Look, confirmation again, you are being tested. See what I'm saying? You are being tested. 
All right, what is meant for you is for you. Nobody can take it or ruin it. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to take what's meant for you. Little by little, you will start again, okay? And things will go in your favor. You just gotta, you gotta let go to grow. That's the test, that you gotta let the shit go. You gotta trust God. You gotta have faith. So we have turned that passion into a paycheck. Spirit is saying here, somebody has a, we all have a passion. We all have something that we love to do that is fun, you know? Um, and that's what we're here to do. We're not really here. All of us, you know, not all of us are here to do no nine to five. We're here to turn our passion into a paycheck. You know, your God given gifts and abilities. What is your passion? What is it that you love to do? You could turn this into a paycheck. You will get blessed for just following your passion, following your heart, doing what you love to do. All right. That could be where this financial increase is coming from. Uh, for some of y'all, you're already following your passion. You're already doing that. And Spirit is saying keep doing it because that's where this is going to come from, okay? So we have here your triumphs will be will be uh, turned into triumphs. I mean, your trials will be turned into triumphs, okay? And no rain, no flowers. Yeah, confirmation again. Like, you know, you are, you are, you are having to go through this trial right now, but you are going to be triumphant, okay? You will be successful. You're going to get everything you want, but you got to you gotta pass this spiritual test. If you don't pass this spiritual test and let go, you're basically delaying yourself, delaying your blessings, all right? Blocking your own blessings. Yes, we're really saying stay determined and move forward and push through your fears. There's a fear here of letting go, of isolating, you know, because we have here isolate to heal. All right. Again, practicing being in isolation, listening to your, your intuition, uh, listening to, um, you know, what what is your heart's desires? What is your passion? OK, listening to the guidance, you know, but definitely needing to isolate, needing to heal, needing to isolate from this energy that is plotting behind your back. OK. Don't give up. You're almost there. Yeah, don't give up. Don't don't let fear hold you back. Exactly. Keep it pushing. You got to keep it pushing from this energy. Whoever this is in your life, you need to keep it pushing. You need to let it go. That's what's holding you back. All right. Expect the unexpected. Yeah. When you let go, you will you will get what you what you what you desire. OK, this new life, these blessings. All right. We have again reflect. So definitely we'll reflect. Listen quietly. Like you need to spend time, you know, in solitude again isolation just reflecting on everything you know like okay i haven't been really moving forward in the last two years or three years of my life why you know what's going on you know like what what is the problem you know like just thinking about what's going on coming up with a strategy with a new game plan and realizing what the root of the problem is here what 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 is the problem who who's been on some bullshit who's been acting funny you know what you've been ignoring you know what red flags have you been ignoring with this reflect here and you're gonna realize that oh shit this person has been plotting behind my back the whole time all right we have here that you have the power to protect your peace yeah absolutely and you're gonna go from rags to riches you see what i'm saying like you're gonna be good all right but you gotta let this go okay and spirit is saying yes you can you could let this go you could protect your peace, all right? Trust the timing in your life is saying that it's okay to start over right now, all right? It's, it's, it doesn't matter, you know, how old you are, all right? Uh, everybody has their own path, their own mission, and everything is on, you know, divine timing. And if Spirit is saying that it's time now for you to bust a move, this is the time, okay? Trust that this is the time, okay? You could start over right now. And Spirit is saying you need to cut out distractions. That's the, that's the problem here. This karmic is trying to hold you back. You know, like that's the distraction. They, they're causing distractions, chaos in your life, trying to keep you in a low vibration to continue to manipulate you to get this material wealth that they're getting off of you. All right. Uh, sometimes things go wrong so that things can sometimes things go wrong so that things can go right. Exactly. Everything that went wrong is now moving you on your path towards your blessings and the manifestations that you are wanting to manifest. All right. We have that the cycle is complete. So, yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. You already went through everything. You already learned the lessons, and the cycle is complete. Now you just got to pass the test by actually walking away from this energy and not looking back. All right? So that's what I got here, y'all. I hope I was able to help. Peace.